the question of who was more convincing during the Oprah Winfrey interview between Meghan Markle and Prince Harry is subjective and largely depends on the perspectives, biases, and expectations of the viewers. Many viewers found Meghan to be particularly compelling due to the emotional and personal nature of her revelations. She spoke openly about her struggles with mental health, including suicidal thoughts, and the lack of support she felt from the royal family. Her accounts of facing racism within the institution, particularly concerning the skin color of her and Harry's son, Archie, resonated with many people, especially those who have experienced or are sensitive to issues of race and mental health. Meghan's calm demeanor, clear articulation, and willingness to share such personal experiences lent an air of sincerity and vulnerability to her statements. For those who believe that the royal family is an outdated and potentially harmful institution, Meghan's accounts were seen as brave and validating. On the other hand, Prince Harry was seen as convincing by viewers who appreciated his sense of duty to protect his family. His perspective was shaped by his personal history with the royal family and the tragic death of his mother, Princess Diana. Harry's concerns about history were kitting itself, particularly in terms of media harassment and the lack of support from the royal family, struck a chord with those who sympathize with his position as someone born into the monarchy but seeking a different life for himself and his family. His decision to step back from royal duties and move to the United States was framed as an act of love and protection, which many found convincing and understandable. Public perception of who was more convincing also varied across different media outlets and cultural contexts. Some British tabloids and commentators were more skeptical of Meghan, questioning the accuracy of her statements and her motivations, while American media and audiences tended to be more supportive of her narrative. Harry's credibility was generally viewed through the lens of his lifelong association with the royal family and the sympathy he garnered due to his mother's fate. Another aspect of the interview that influenced perceptions of credibility was the dynamic between Meghan and Harry. Some viewers found that Meghan took the lead in discussing the more personal and controversial topics, while Harry provided context and support, especially on matters related to the royal family and the media. This dynamic led some to believe that Meghan was the driving force behind their decisions, while others saw it as a partnership where both were equally invested in protecting their family and speaking their truth. In summary, both Meghan and Harry were convincing to different audiences for different reasons. Meghan's emotional openness and accounts of her personal struggles resonated with many, while Harry's protective instincts and reflections on his royal upbringing added depth to their narrative. Ultimately, who was more convincing depends on the individual viewer's beliefs, biases, and understanding of the issues at hand.